Yo, 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 welcome back everyone. Episode four here of Dragon Quest Heroes. I actually went ahead and talked to a few folks here, just getting an understanding of what's around here, what to buy, what to sell. There's a lot. I also got some like items from here. This is the lady that provides us with some parcels. So over there you have actually a metal shop and you have an alchemist. Here you have yourself the weaponsmith and armor. And you also have an orb, which you can apply to your armor. So I didn't know that in here, you can actually view the world map. This is the detailed map of the realm, created through the combined efforts of many scholars at the Institute. And it's not just for your run-of-the-mill navigational chart either. Thanks to various ingenious mechanisms, you can now plot course simply by choosing a destination. Alright. Oh, look, a new destination has been added. Whenever you discover a new place for the stone cloud to travel to, it'll appear here on the world map. So Colisia has popped up on the map, hmm? Then they must have decided our path. We shall journey there next. Colosia, the city here at the heart of the desert? The very same. Tis a verdant oasis that thrives amid the arid wastes. The combination of desert sands and fresh flowing waters makes for quite the spectacle. Of course, it's the most striking feature is the arena of the center. Tis the greatest of its kind in the entire realm and has played host to many an epic confrontation. Ah, such fond memories. Was that where they held the grand tournaments you said you won back in the day, your majesty? <laughs> I saw it was the same. It is such grand events such as these that brought humans and monsters alike flocking to Colosseum since time immemorial. Tis a bustling town indeed. This being the case, should the same disturbances encountered elsewhere by occurring in Colosseum, they were in for a greater struggle even than that we endured in Calibur. That doesn't sound good. We better get down there, and fast. Then it's decided, your majesty. Would you like to do the honors? But of course, engines full ahead. We fly for Colosseum. <laughs> the trading town of Colosseum sits in the middle of the desert. Oh, okay. So this is where we do some quests. All right, let's go. Take on the challenge for damn sure. So in the last episode, they said they were only allowed having four of us to join in the fight and to make sure that we're there. So that means I can't keep having all of our guys on us at the same time. Here we are, the gates of Colosseo. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be any monsters nearby. Maybe nothing's happened here yet. Well, if it hasn't, it soon will. I just had a word from the stone cloud. There's a huge swarm of beasties heading right this way. Then our course of action is clear. We must protect Colosseo from the onslaught. Indeed we must. Not a single one among them shall be suffered to reach the gate. To arms, comrades! I'm super freaking excited. It seems like I have this group here. So I'm assuming I can actually change... Oh, my movement's been impaired. Oh, I see, because that's quicksand. I'm going to be talking as well as them. I know I'm annoying that way. I do like to keep myself quiet, but when I'm in the middle of a fight, I want to be like out and about, you know, moving and having fun with you guys. But I do see that there might be some maw creatures. Yeah, I do see the maw creatures over here somewhere. Or the maw keepers, excuse me. The maw keepers are actually these monsters that you need to destroy because just like their name insists, keeper... They keep the gates open, basically, and you want to destroy the gates, or the portals, I should say, in this case. The portals are essentially going to keep monsters from floating. You destroy the Maw Keeper, and the portal's destroyed. Pretty easy, right, guys? So what I do is I'm going to keep it simple here. I'm going to defeat this as fast as I can. You can see that there's like a kind of like a side quest on the side there where we defend the gate. Gate of Colosseum, that is. So we go slow here. I'm just going to jump. It makes sense for me to jump here. Collect these medals at all times. So guys, I hope you guys are doing well. You know how for me it's the weekend. I don't know about you folks, but the weekends are like the best days to play games. It might sound weird. Well, actually not weird because I don't have to work, which is fantastic. And I kind of needed a day like this to relax because I was getting pretty damn tired. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we picked up an M medal. Each time you get a new medal, it actually tells you. Like it'll stop you from what you're doing and say, oh yeah, by the way, you got a new medal. So let's take this route down here. Oh my gosh, the gate's getting destroyed. Run, folks, run! So what I can do is actually I can throw some of my guys here let me help them up a little bit here i do see some creatures i want to destroy quickly if i can try to get them out of the way and go straight for the maw keeper i don't know why these creatures are kind of like glowing which is new to me i can use my abilities here like this it takes on a lot of enemies at once kind of like a tornado of some sort i'm trying to find the maw keeper oh there you are you sucker all right, so today my plan is to go through some missions, maybe this one and another one. I will also try to keep away from showing you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allocate my skill points because I do have skill points that I allocated prior to this fight. So I am pretty much stronger than I once was. So it's a good thing, right? Because before I didn't allocate it, I don't know why I kept forgetting to allocate. Oh, I have this guy. I forgot. So it's best if I do that every time after a fight because what it is essentially is you just spend the points you received from fighting these fights. And it's good because, oh, we got a bag of laughs. Cool. 
it's good because it gives you a good idea of like what you need to give to your friends because some of them will showcase different types of abilities. Some of them will be like, okay, for example, they would probably be doing spells, so you want to make sure you get the wisdom up in this case. I think all of them actually use spells to a certain degree, but some of them might favor more like magic over strength. Or some of them might be like brutes, so they might be able to take on some more hits and still apply some damage here and there. But it's always important that you also keep in mind like what's around you just in case because some of these creatures are very annoying so it's best to keep in mind what's going on so i want to summon this and i want to get this medal if i can so i'm going to try to dismiss one of them so i can pick up the golden medal and in the previous episodes i mentioned in the past that i actually want to get as many achievements as i can in this playthrough let's just take this guy out what are you doing there get out of the way there one sec there's more creatures around here all right so the creatures have left Easy fight. Can we now enter the gate ourselves? That'd be fantastic. That's the way to do it. Not a single monster left in sight. Right. Let's get inside, shall we? Not so fast. We can ill afford to charge in without a strategy. We must retire to a safe distance and devise a plan. Hmm, business as usual with you two. I see. But I think a quick tactical retreat might be an idea. We should report back to the Stone Cloud anyway. Come on, we can get her to drop us right back here when we're done. So we'll not lose any time. True indeed, Fairy Isla. It will serve us well to retire to the Stone Cloud and recuperate whenever the chance arises. We must make it a habit of doing so. So essentially, I think every time after like a simple fight like this, you will definitely go back, recuperate like he mentioned, build your armor, allocate your skill points. Whatever you might have missed, you want to come back and it's best to do this. So you still get experience points, but only for those that attended the fight. So you don't get experience points for those that have been sitting out. Okay, so I couldn't figure out how to change my friends so I'm just going to continue fighting this. Have you come across any treasure maps on your travels? You might want to take a look at them if you have. They should reveal some very interesting caves on the world map. Alright, so it pours over a slime spattered... What the heck? How the heck did I find that? Okay, and the field of gould. They play like goo, like ghoul, gould. I don't know how to say it. So we discover a bunch of places as you can see here. I'm not going to sit here and read all of them because it might be a while before we're finished. So needless to say, let's continue up and meet the mayor apparently. Alright, so let's meet the mayor. I still don't understand how to switch. I'm kind of embarrassed. I should be able to know. You can't necessarily switch them when you're just at the uh, stone cloud, so it's weird. The town is divided into three districts. Two of these, the east and west, make up the town proper, leading one to the north, the arena. Now, the western district... Oi! Behold, lone man fights in solitude monsters. <laughs> Your majesty, is it, is it really you? Why, tis it none other than Major of the Sun Soak Paradise. Old friend, why do you stand alone? I could not let my subjects come to harm, so I, I fought off the attackers while the people escaped to safety. But I am ashamed to say I cannot do little for the town itself. Hmm, poppycock. What? Your beloved city stands yet, and your spirited defense of her serves as true testament to your dedication. Old friend, you're an example to all of us. Now, fall back and allow us to take up the defense of Colossia in your steed. Yeah, probably for the best. You take back and uh, let me show you how it's done. All right, let's do this in my way. Let's attack them. Oh, actually, let me freaking assess the situation. Holy crap, there's a lot of monsters here. I wish I had monsters in my inventory. Monster metals, that is. All right, so let's do this. Let's get close as we can to the Maw Keeper while defeating some of these creatures. You might be asking yourself why. Why not just get to the Maw Keeper? My idea is to defeat these creatures. And usually what it means is that you can essentially get closer to the Mod Keeper and try to get some medals along the way. Let me quickly grab this and just summon it because there's a lot going on. And more friends the merrier. I need to make sure I can defeat this quickly. I'm looking at the Mayor of Colissia. And I think the Mayor is just out and about really. He's just doing his own thing. We need to go closer to him. So what I'm going to do is actually kind of go backwards here. I don't want to leave him unattended, especially if he's getting surrounded by creatures. So let's quickly go back. So what I'm going to do here is actually summon a few friends. So we picked up a bubble slime metal. Let's go. All right. So like I said, I'm just going to summon everything and everyone to kind of help us along the way because I think it's important that we keep track of what is going on. And it's kind of hard because the thing is, is that the mayor is the prime objective of the freaking map, right? So you want to make sure you take in consideration his health. And it's kind of hard because there's quite a few of these golems that are kind of annoying and there's no way of me defeating them without destroying the Maw Keepers. I do see three of them. You can see the spinning little red circle there, right? So I think we're good here. I'm going to leave them to B. Actually, I'll take that back. Let me just defeat just one of these and then we should be good to go. All right, so I took down one golem. Oh, and that's what I wanted to see. So this is what I do. I summon another golem and then we leave and destroy some of the Maw Keepers because the Maw Keepers will continue to keep 
you know showcasing more and more creatures so i'm gonna go super saiyan here i'm gonna just kind of go with the flow and defeat them as much as i can as long as i can get some more medals and get closer to them it'll be fan freaking tastic the golem is doing a lot of work i'm gonna assume all right so i did that ability and that ability tends to take down a lot of the creatures at once so i do see the mug keeper here and i'm thankful that i can finally fight this one this one was a little further down the line you can see the golem is still doing well it's still alive which is freaking fantastic i'm gonna grab some of these more I picked up a hammer hood one. Perfect. All right. So, so far the mayor is still taking a beating. I need to go back there as quickly as I can. So let's defeat this small creature quickly and get there. Oh, okay. So I'm back here. There are creatures coming up to him. So I'm going to defeat them here. I do have the golem there. I actually went by and I collected another golem medal. And what it is, is if you already have the creature out there, what it does, it just heals them, which is pretty nice. And I picked up the walking corpse medal, which I'm glad we actually did because I did see one, I think in the last area, but... I unfortunately had to avoid it because I already had a lot of creatures in my inventory. So let's destroy this golem here. The other one's mine, so let's destroy one and then we can just go further and just help out with the other mock creepers that are around here somewhere. Or I should say mock keepers, not creepers. Alright, so that's done. I'm going to move forward, destroy more creatures here. I'm going to throw a walking corpse out and then make my way to the mock keeper. Okay, the mock keeper is down for the count except the mayor is still taking a beating. So what I'm going to do is actually kind of make my way backwards and just defeat the monsters around him. Okay, there we go. So this creature was causing me a lot of problems. Let me dismiss this one. I want this one. It's a relentless armor creature. This thing is really annoying. When I was just doing my own thing, it was just kicking my butt. So it was destroying basically this guy over here. The last wave is already approaching and I need to summon more creatures and defeat them. Hopefully we can get to the Maw Keeper because I think that's the only way to stop this from happening. Okay, so the golems are finally down, I think. I need to get to the other side because these golems are kind of like the gatekeepers right now. They won't leave me alone. There we go. Those things are done. These ones with the armors are really annoying. So let me just quickly get my way to the mock keeper because you can see the majors is chilling there, but we need to destroy the mock keepers as soon as freaking possible. Actually, the mock keepers are gone. Oh, I see. Because they're the last wave. They no longer keep spawning. Oh, okay, okay. I need to run back quickly if I can. All right, so I'm back here. You can see the... Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. What? Wait, one second, guys. How do I heal again? What? Why am I so low in health? What just happened to me? I need myself a freaking health pot ASAP. A freaking sap. I'm surprised I'm at 1 HP right now, to be 100% honest. Okay, we're good now. Jeez. Holy crap. Huzzah, friends. The west side is ours. Fine work. One and all. Mayor, you have something to say? I do, your majesty. Allow me to relate to you and your band the heartfelt thanks of the people of Colosseum for delivering their beloved home from certain disaster. <laughs> Such humility ill suits you, old friend. Hold your head high. You have done your city proud this day. Now, let us repair to the stone cloud and devise a strategy to retake the east side. Mayor, will you honor us with your presence? The, uh, the stone cloud, your majesty. Aye, the stone cloud. Are you deaf, man? She's the stout and steadfast flying fortress. We have made our home and base of operations. You shall be well looked after there. Then it would be my honor, your majesty. Sick. I don't know if he will join our crew, but he will be helping us out, maybe? Or probably just helping us reclaim what's his? Either way, we have a new person. Your majesty. Captain. Thank you for coming to our aid. Had you not arrived when you did, Colosseus' fate would most certainly have been sealed and mine with it. Do not dare undersell yourself, man. To hold the town alone as you did was nothing short of miraculous. I could not have done better myself. But Colosseus is far from safe yet. We must hurry if we are to reclaim the two remaining districts. The eastern part of the town and the arena remain overrun with monsters. It's as you say, your majesty. Luckily, I have just a strategy in mind. First, we will remain our momentum and drive into the east, quelling the monster threat there. Then, God, didn't we just say we were short on time? Don't worry, Mr. Mayor, we'll sort this out for you. Those monsters won't know what hit them. We are truly blessed to have been sent such dedicated defenders. Allow me to give you both a small token to our thanks and to commend you on your skill in battle. Heavens, heal stones? Heal stones, your majesty. Ah, but of course, you are unfamiliar with such wonders. As their name suggests, these sacred stones harbor potent resurrective powers. The mighty heelstone can soothe your wounds and those of your allies too. A valuable gift indeed, but Mayor, are you sure? Surely, they are too precious to simply give away. Colosseum owes you a debt for far beyond the value of such trinkets. And besides, you will need them if you are to reclaim the remaining districts. Far way too kind from you, Mayor. I do appreciate it. We do get a lot of goodies here. Okay, a lot of spoils too. Gosh, damn, we're back at the Stone Cloud. We did two major quests, and we have the mayor on top of that, guys. All right, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I'm a little all over the place with my voice acting. Ugh, I know, I'm trying to get there. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye!